Hello, people. I hope you are doing good. So, as promised, okay, I am back with the you know certification exam questions. So, these questions are like only five percent, which I have to like to give you all. So, let's just begin, okay? Uh, and these are the very basic questions, okay? So, if you are if you got stuck in this video, then please you need to work on your skills and then try further, okay? so and who whoever just you know uh, like answering all the questions within 5 seconds so they are good to go uh, at least their basics are clear so in this uh, video all uh, basic questions i cannot include right because video will be long, will be too long so uh, that's why i will be dividing video in small chunks so this is the first video let's begin with the first question okay good luck to all okay so our first question is like which of the following transformation operations are possible for using tmap okay so you can look for the you know options like look up join sorting and filtering so within 5 seconds if you can answer then you are good for, uh, good with the tmap very basic so you know uh, that we can apply i am telling you answers okay so you you know how we can apply look up join and filtering we cannot apply sorting right so that we can apply just by using other components okay so only for a c and d are the correct uh, answer for this uh, question so next move to next question now second question is what is job and talent because sometimes in certification exam very basic question you know power so what is job and talent so you have four options like visual sets of component graphically connected using different connections visual sets of metadata graphically connected using different component sorting collection of component metadata and last option is a and c so you know our job we design a requirement using some components right and uh, these components are connected using row or using trigger connectors you can say that so uh, b option cannot be corrected because it is showing you visual set of metadata graphically so this is wrong collection of component metadata this is also totally wrong so the answer is only a so a is the correct answer for this question moving to the next question which of the following component is used to generate sample data so this is very very important component because yeah you know we sometimes use this component for tracking uh, okay i am not going to explain you component because video will be too long so your options are okay so the correct answer is t row generator here c option is the correct answer for this question now moving to the next video uh, next question which layout export it from a component in talent please read carefully this is a very you know like unique question which layout export it from a component in talent so there are four type of files right excel format text file xml file or csv file so your correct answer is your text file b option is correct here okay so we are good to go now next question is which of the following is a correct way to parse string column to date you know parse converting your string field into your date field so this is also one of the important function we use in our daily basis job so you should be knowing this okay okay so there is some uh, you know disturbance in the alignment okay no problem so just check and just uh, check which uh, option is correct you know uh, whenever we use you know date function then starting will be like your talent date okay so this is wrong answer b will be totally wrong because talent date is the you know class name you can say that in routine so first uh, third and the fourth option can be only correct so and next we are parsing here so you know format date is for your converting you know uh, your date into a string so d option is also wrong so we remain with the only b ops uh, you know uh, c options uh, and a option so in this two we are not trying to get date here so only the correct answer is a so a is your correct answer in this question if you have answered all correct answer till now so you are very good okay you are going good and uh, next question is in order to filter all files with a name having a string this using the t file list component you know we can iterate multiple file using t file list component very well okay so now question is saying that please extract all the file name that have string as this value okay so this value should be in that file 
so if you are using first one then absolutely wrong okay because it will extract only the file which have only this name okay now we don't know uh, what is you know uh, like it's in front uh, like is it has prefix or uh, you know at the end uh, what extension do it have so c option is correct because we are including star at the start and the at the end also we are including star so it whatever whatever extension whatever name after this or whatever uh, thing is included uh, before this name it will fetch that file okay so as portion this string should be included so uh, uh, before also at the end also you need to include star okay so c answer uh, c is uh, your correct answer now next question is okay let me just uh, in which user interface element do you find business model, job design, and metadata? Very important. Sometimes people just miss business model, but it is also very important, you know, uh, theory uh, theory part of your uh, interview portion, so your certification portion. So in which of the option it is there, okay? So, you know, job view, no. Design workspace, no. We cannot just see our metadata there. Palette, absolutely not. So only remaining the repository. So in repository, we find all of these. Okay, so repository is your top main hierarchy part. Now jumping to the next question, what is indicated by an asterisk next to the job name in the design workspace? You know, this, you know, talent job is derived from the Eclipse tool only. So similarly to Eclipse, if your job isn't saved, then it will show after job name as an asterisk sign. So that means your job isn't saved, right? Sorry. That uh, first option that this is an active job, that job contain an error, unsaved changes, currently running. Currently, absolutely not. Error, no. Active, no. So C option is correct, okay? I hope this is, uh, questions are pretty good till now. Like I'm starting from pretty basics, okay? When you first start Talent Open Studio, what are the advantages of creating a talent account? Okay, so choose all the uh, all that apply. So these are the four options that you need to look. And uh, this is the first time, you know, after installing you first time, uh, after creating a workspace, you just uh, click on, uh, you know, finish and then your workspace pop up with a window uh, before your uh, UI, talent UI. That is related to same. So which are the correct option? And this question I saw in every, every, every like uh, practice paper, you know, in every, uh, you can say talent certification exam also. So before I gave, I just practice few and uh, uh, these, this question is like everywhere. So correct answer is you can visit mytalent.com. Yes. You are required to create an account? No, absolutely not. You can post question answers to talent form. You know, talent community is very large community and very active community. Yes, this is the option displayed there. You can download component from talent exchange. Yes. So your answer will be A, C, and D. Okay, we are good to go now. Now, next question is from which view in Talent Open Studio would you clear the statics from the design space? Static means, you know, everything like running error, like logs, warning, whatever. Because how many views we have? Let me just show you practically. So this is my job view. This is my context view. This is my component view. This is my uh, run job view. This is my test case. And you can add multiple tabs here. So only statics of your job displayed in your uh, run job view, right? Run tab view. Other tab are just for other things like context. This is for variable job. It is for component job. This is for your detail of job, everything. Okay. So our correct option will be the component view, the context view, the problem view, the run view, the job view. Definitely the run view. Okay. So the option is correct here. Which are the component miscellaneous category? Okay, yeah, this I, I included this portion because you know I I I this was in my uh, certification exam. So uh, sometimes we just forget that palette is uh, how important. Let me show you. I uh, in in my one of videos I told you there are twenty two plus categories uh, provided by talent for our convenience. Okay, so these are the category uh, for uh, components. So this question popped up like which are the component are of miscellaneous category t no t sample row t row generator and t file input delimited okay 
so when you are giving certification exam please go thoroughly with the all all little little things also okay so what are the components of miscellaneous miscellaneous okay so t file input no it is of file type okay t row generated t sample or t root so correct answer is a and c because t sample row is for your processing category because it will process your data okay so this is t row generator and t node are of miscellaneous category if you just click on this you will be able to see all your miscellaneous category sometimes t memorized row also come in it comes as an option so please go and just check your category also okay this we get this category also like what are t for yeah t flow to iterate t file list comes in which category so this is this is also very important uh question okay what is the purpose of tdb cdc component okay you do you know this you can if you can answer in five minutes then you're very good in cdc concept that is your change capture ch uh, data change okay so what is the purpose of this component to x you know to just capture all the changes made in a tab table monitored by cdc process so you should be very good with cdc components also and the concept also now next question is how can you view the content of a file or database without leaving talent open studio suppose this is my talent open studio and uh, somehow i just process the data and instead of in t log row i just created a file, output file and just my save my data here okay and suppose if there are uh, five record then i can clearly view in run console but there are 10000 records or 100 records how i can see in run console at the same time okay there, if there are number of records so in enterprise versions okay you have this features if you will right click on this component no whatever component you have a not this one so suppose this is a file cover you will have an option that is data viewer so this option available in your enterprise version so when you will click on this your uh, one page will be pop up in that page you your data is uh, you know divided into number of tabs pages like i have only five records only it included in one one page only if there are like thousand records ten thousand records so there will be multiple files okay so you can view your data in uh, without opening your file or without going out of your talent open studio okay so yeah that's it which talent open studio debugging feature allow you to break, define break point and step through a job execution to monitor the data process row by row in real time you know in which tab uh, let me just uh, it is trace debug when you go to run debug uh, of course after running only we can drag some you know process so in this run tab there is a debug run uh, you know tab go to this and this uh, when you will just click on this your job will run and while running your job you can just you know right now it is suffering error because this is my old job uh, so you can just uh, you know track every row just processing uh, in each second so that's why answer is tra uh, traces the part from uh, which tab in component view would you specify whether the configuration is built in or repository this is very simple who have very practical knowledge but very basics also so this is my you can say this is basic setting in basic setting i can say yeah it is built in or it is repository so your answer will be basic setting you should know okay which uh, view is for your renaming your uh, get this component name okay so you can change your component level uh, so views for that what is in your advanced setting how you can do so you should be very good at every you know very minute detail also in which view do you define a variable value so in which view in your context view this is your context so here we define a variable in talent open studio where you can browse to find the components you need to create a job suppose you need a component that that you just forget your just forget the name either you can just type here okay it's, it's, it's still it is not helping you then just go on this palette section palette section if you want something related to file just click on the file category and just it, it is an input it is output it is management it is name pipe whatever it is just go and click it will just throw you everything so your answer will be palette 
Next question is which component can be used to share a connection between multiple databases? Suppose I have created a database at a single position. Uh, that is your repository. You create at repos repository also. Okay, so uh, for every type of DB, we have a, uh, a connection we can create to use in our job for multiple uh, at a multiple places. But here, this question is asking which component can be used to share a location uh, connection between multiple databases component. So that answer is your TDB connection component. It can be of any DB here means your vendor, like if it's Oracle, it is a MySQL, it is a Salesforce, whatever it is. Okay. So next question, the process of transferring your data from an old system to a new system is called because, you know, ETL is a concept of data warehouse. So this terms are also uh, very important for you to know that is your data migration. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the uh, default value of a field separator when we are using the file de uh, delimited component or, okay, so can you answer that in within, you know, one second, it should be answered in one second, that is a semicolon. Okay, now moving to next question, how can you see a configuration error for a component? Suppose this is my error, okay. So uh, whenever you have an error, because it is a reckless base. So whenever you hover over the error symbol, you will just figure out the, like, what is the problem uh, of, uh, wh what is the error message? And okay, then you can just debug it. This is very important question. When a job is completed so successfully, the run console shows exit code equals to zero or exit code equals to one. Okay, so suppose uh, my job ran this way, uh, this, uh, my job ran, okay. I'm running this job. Somehow it failed. Okay. So right, I try to why it is not populating here. But in consoles, exit code will be like it, it will be zero or one. So in successful cases, what it will be? It will be zero. Right? In case of unsuccessful error uh, message, it will be equals to one. So yes, that's it for the today. Okay, that is uh, not today for this video. And thank you, thank you very much for watching it. Okay. If you find like uh, useful, then just uh, like it. Or uh, if you got stuck, like if you, these are very basic questions, okay? So if you are giving certification exam, you should be like very, very, like within seconds, you should answer, uh, you should answer all the questions. And these are only 5% as I told you. So there are multiple questions, uh, okay? I will be uploading soon. And yeah, good luck. If you have uh, done till here, good, uh, good. So yes, you are very well prepared for your exam also. So I hope you you will be like watching further. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Happy learning.